How to Cover a Lampshade with Fabric Ever wondered how to cover a lampshade with fabric? It actually couldn't be easier to make something unique and perfectly styled to your home. Making something special for your home, using your own hands, gives such a sense of both joy and achievement. I can express myself using pattern and colors much more easily than I can with words. There are a few ways you can cover a lampshade with fabric. You'll first need to choose a fabric that you love to cover your lampshade with. You'll also need a decent pair of fabric scissors. First up you'll need to select a lampshade kit. There are a few different formats you can choose from, all in different sizes and shapes. Most kits should come with two rings, a self-adhesive lampshade panel, double-sided tape and a finishing tool. If you've found a fabric that you love, or you've printed your own, think carefully before cutting it to size as you'll want the most amount of pattern to be shown. If your shade is an empire shape, you'll lose some pattern at the top where the shade is narrower, so play around with a template before cutting. In terms of getting your fabric the right size, it should be a few centimeters bigger on both the long and short sides of your shade's frame, but your kit will guide you with this. Place the self-adhesive panel from your lampshade kit on the back of your fabric. The panel will already be the correct size for your shade so just line it up with your already cut fabric. Smooth it out so there are no air bubbles or creases. Next peel away the top and bottom sections of the backing panel you should just be able to snap them back with your fingers but if not, use something like the handles of your scissors to crease the edges and try again. Carefully peel back the sections, trying to avoid the fabric from fraying. Then stick double-sided tape along the one of the short edges of your lampshade panel. Take both rings of your lampshade frame and wrap with the double-sided tape, sticking it to the entire circumference. Pinch it into place then remove the tape backing. Place both rings at the end of the panel, ensuring the bulb frame is the correct way up, and carefully roll them along with the two long sides in the same direction. Your frames should line up with the edges of the panel on your fabric. Roll until you reach the end of your fabric panel, then remove the backing from the tape on your short edge and press the ends together. Lastly, to knead up the edges, use the finishing tool to tuck the overhanging fabric up underneath the frame. Where the bulb support is attached to the frame, simply snip a small line so the fabric can be wrapped around this area.
If you want to add any trim to the bottom of your lampshade, this can be attached using a fabric glue. Once dry, your lampshade can be attached to your base or hung from a pendant light cord. If you already have a fabric lampshade, but it's in need of a refresh, you can just recover it with a new design. First make a template for your fabric by creating a marker on your existing shade. Gradually roll the shade along the fabric, tracing its path top and bottom with the pen as you go. Stopping when the shade has made one complete revolution and again touching the paper mark at your stopping point. Using a fabric spray adhesive and following the manufacturer's instructions, carefully and lightly spray along the length of the unpressed vertical edge, you only need a tiny amount of adhesive. Repeat to spray the top and bottom edges of the fabric, Fold them over the frame of the shade and press into position. I suggest to use clothes pin around bottom and the top of the shade and leave adhesive to dry completely. Here are some sample of lampshades for you to enjoy.